I hope you've all been watching the latest Dave Latimer series on the BBC, Planet Earth 2. <laughs> As a frequently disheartened PhD student in conservation, I've almost lost the, the sense of wonder in the natural world, that rich beauty seen on the television. Those pink flamingos doing the flamenco, those baby iguanas running across the beach trying desperately to escape those snakes that just keep jumping out of nowhere. I feel like the whole thing is just a metaphor for what it's like being a student in 2016. <laughs> Brexit, bam! Trump, bam! <laughs> Toblerones made a bit smaller. <laughs> but the reality is, many of the species you've been watching on, on TV over the last few weeks, like that heroic frog last night, simply will disappear within our lifetimes. Since the 1960s, two-thirds of the world's wildlife has gone. A hundred elephants are poached every single day. Just think of Simba in such an elephant's graveyard as big as that. The gray, these grey giants will go extinct before we go grey. The current model of conservation, largely unchanged since the 1960s, simply isn't working. But now, with a combination of two technologies, the internet and decentralised blockchain technologies, we have the, we have the the power to overcome that disconnection. I'm currently working with a team trying to do, this, do exactly that, trying to create a peer-to-peer -peer conservation platform. But before I describe how, I want to explain why. So please raise your hand if you like elephants. Please raise your hand if you want elephants to continue to exist in 20 years' time. Now please raise your hand if you've been able to take an opportunity to actually ensure that that happens. Exactly, for the millions back home watching, um, no one. <laughs> but if you were to go outside this room right now, and if there's an elephant standing there, and you had the unique, one-off opportunity to ensure its survival, perhaps donating five pounds or an hour of your time, I bet that you would. But we don't. Without that individually trusted impact, we don't act. And secondly, there's a very good reason why these animals are going extinct. And it's the same reason why the, the bears and the forests were cleared from this country. It's that they're costly to live with. So this summer, I was doing my research in northern Tanzania, and an elderly Maasai woman described to me how, in the last two weeks previously, she had lost two of her loved ones, trampled to death by the same rogue elephant simply walking to market on separate occasions. Time and time again, families would tell me how their entire crop for the year, destroyed in a single night, by a marauding group of elephants and wildlife, other wildlife. Maybe, maybe this particular one. Joseph, a friend of mine from northern Tanzania, he's grown up his whole life protecting his villages from these wildlife, and he, he values them. And we all benefit from the fact that elephants exist. But only Joseph and families like his actually pay the costs. But then the 90s, something beautiful happened. Now, not the Spice Girls, <laughs> but the internet. We're now more connected than ever before, enabling peer-to-peer uh, -peer technologies previously inconceivable. Think Uber, Airbnb, Tinder. We want to do the same for conservation, obviously without objectifying any elephants. <laughs> we want to build a peer-to-peer -peer platform so people like Joseph can connect. So people like Joseph who, who have the skills but not the resources to do conservation can connect to those millions around the world with the willing and the resources, but not necessarily the skills or opportunity to do conservation. And now, for the first time, we have a means to provide that digital trust, so you know exactly where your money's going and where the elephants are, or how many of them there are. Through de decentralized technology such as blockchain, everyone has a record of the information. Everyone can see that record, not just one central authority. It's a bit like, if you want to know the score, the football score, you could ask the BBC. But if you don't trust the BBC for whatever reason, you could ask a thousand other football fans or, or cameras, and you go the most common answer. And in a blockchain network, that answer can't be changed later. To finish, we want to create, and we are creating, in the digital realm, that hypothetical elephant outside the room. But we're not just creating an app. We want to share an idea. An idea in which everyone, not just um, eccentric philanthropists or PhD students with questionable hairstyles, but anyone, anywhere, can be a conservationist by supporting, 
directing or delivering conservation directly themselves. An idea and a means in which to inspire you to ask yourself, what can you uniquely do to conserve the species and places that you care about? To connect all of our passions together to protect our only planet Earth. So swipe right, find your digital elephant, and join the herd. Thank you very much. <laughs>